Hi everybody, this is Sad Buster Living, and here is a final review of the Masterbooks uh, God's Wondrous Machine Elementary Anatomy <laughs> uh, Curriculum. Um, I kind of reviewed this, talked about this in another video, and that will be linked up here for you. So go and check that out. I gave it a phenomenal review, and now that we're wrapping it up, I'm gonna give you a different opinion on that. All right, so here we go. Let's let's talk about this. <clears throat> Okay, so this is my daughter's notebook. Um, it's full of full of different information. Um, I just created a simple notebook. These are things that we need to. I've copied and we need to um, uh, hole punch them. So these are worksheets. This is her timeline that she glued and how to put it in a correct timeline. She is in third, fourth grade. This is this is a fourth through sixth grade curriculum. My sister, I also did this with my sister, and she is kind of a fifth grade. Um, that's, that's kind of her point right now with a lot of the work. Okay, so I got this um, for them just to kind of, I thought it was a little bit more helpful and we actually ended up using this a lot more than I really thought we would just because it had more information than this had. And I want to talk with you about how I, I did this with our um, curriculum this year. I really, really struggled um, at near the end with a lot of this uh, curriculum, just to kind of have it for her. And then this is um, just, again, a lot of her work and information, um, note-taking, I know I'm flipping through this quickly. More facts. Oh. Okay, here's another timeline she did. Okay. Alright, so that was her notebook. Okay. So, these are the books, and when we first started out, I think we just had these two. I had these two and the teacher's book, and then later on, when it was really a struggle for my daughter and my sister to share one, we ended up purchasing it again, and at that point, the third book was added into it. This was an issue only because the first teacher book I had had the weeks laid out in such a way that you would do two in a school year. And now there's three, and I think there's going to end up being one or two more in this thing, but I don't remember. And so then, you know, in the middle of the school year, we added another book, which meant that our workload jumped. And here's what I found. I was finding some issues with this, and I know I talked about it in that last video, but this is, so this is the uh, second printing of the teacher edition. We are working on the second book in the uh, curriculum, and 
some of the work that they were having them do, which is labeling, you label the different parts. Let me pull that out here. Okay, you know what? Oh, I'm going to use this one because this is where we kind of stopped. Okay, so, you know, it tells you up here, worksheet 33, after pages. Is that focusing? I hope you can see that. After pages um, 24 and 25. So, after that, they're assigned to this worksheet, and they fill this in, okay? However, if you go to page 24 and 25 here, okay, so you have the nose, and you have um, some of these parts, and, okay, so then this is 22, 23, so this is back more, so you have more information, but... This information is ahead. And I'm trying to... Okay, and here's more ahead. And so these four girls were trying to label everything and they didn't have all the information. And so I, when they're labeling things like that, I let them, because of their grade, I let them do an open book where they, you know, look it up and try to label it, or we can use this. I'm okay with that because I find that as they're researching and looking, you're actually gathering more, but the stress of memorizing and trying to remember everything, they tend to retain less. That's what I'm finding with this right now. And so, you know, during later on in the school year, I let them copy for the books and they're retaining more and life is less stressful and I'm okay with this. Okay. So I'm having a lot of struggles with this book and some of the worksheets that are involved. I don't have a copier machine, so I have to make sure that I make copies enough in advance that as we approach the days, they are all ready for the kids to use. And more often than not, I wouldn't have all the copies made. The copies range from about 10 cents to 15 cents per copy, depending on where I go. And it can get expensive. So what we've done towards the end of the school year, we have, like I said, because because of how it ended up, we're we still have this book to read in about three weeks. And you can kind of see that they are thin. Actually, I think it's... Okay, so this is like the first week in May. And we're going to go until the third week in June. So it, it's it's more than a month. It's more than three weeks. I, I don't know why I said that. Anyway, um, we're finishing up this book. We're finishing up this book. And we still have to do this one. What I've been having the girls do really is most of this is laid out um, where you you read between you basically read two to three pages a day I don't, is that focused just take my word for it you read about two to two to three pages a day in, in the book and then you do some of the the paperwork okay I will make some copies of some of the work in here. Oh, and this is another thing I was finding. Trying to get these pages out, they're actually ripping in such an odd angle that uh, I would sometimes rip the pages. It's, it's very frustrating. Anyway, what I've been having the kids do with this, and once I started f following this method, for lack of a better word, um, I, I started to really, really like this curriculum more. And what I've been doing is I have them read the two to three pages. Okay, so you've got the three over there. There's four. It worked out for this, for this week to have it two, being read two pages a day. And after they read the two pages... I had them write about what they learned. I had them narrate it. That has worked so fantastically that 
I am disappointed. I wish I would have um, maybe spent the little a little bit more and got the apologias um, physical or not physical the the body um, science. I wish I would have done that. I've looked at it again. I'm just not going to be able to do that this year. Um, my daughter still is, she still loves it. She still enjoys it. She still plays doctor nurse. So I haven't at least killed her love for, for that. And that was the approach in getting these was, um, because she was very interested in being a nurse. We, we, uh, started kind of to go on a tangent. We started including this in it because she's getting to that age and that was kind of just an opening for all this, you know? I'm not sorry I did it. I just wish I would have gone the different direction I did. You know what? Lesson learned. And again, like I said, I we started enjoying it a lot more when I started applying just the narration, written narration. Read what she read your two pages, write me what you learned. Tell me something that you can take away from this. And when we, once we started doing that, we had a complete change in science. We started out really looking forward to doing it and all this kind of stuff. Then we fizzled out. When I changed it a little bit, now we're looking forward to doing it more. The only thing that I don't like about doing that is that I'm not held accountable to do some of the activities in here. And I do think that is very important um, when they had uh, papers that said, hey, what did you learn most about this section? What um, what are some of these parts called? Yada, yada, yada. The most that they remember are from the activities that we did. So that's, that's the only frustrations I have. Switching to this method, and I wouldn't even call it a frustration, but it's um, a goal now that I have to hold myself accountable to making sure that we do some of the activities. Because they, they really are good activities, and it kind of gives um, it kind of gives you a visualization for how it works. Okay, so that's going to be, I think, my final review of Masterbooks. I was not sponsored to do this. They didn't send this to me for free or anything. Um, this was just a new curriculum that I came across through EduSense, and I was really excited about it, and I purchased it, and we've been doing it um, for this year for science for the older one, and um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. If if this is something that you were looking into or that you've done and have any thoughts, please leave them down below. I will say that um, I really think they need to go through their um, teacher guide and fix um, a lot of the errors that they have, especially with the worksheets and even some of the answers. We found it conflicting with some of the stuff that was in here. So this, this needs to be fixed and updated. You really do have a good education here. And noticing the grades, you know, four to six grades, this isn't going to be a high school textbook for nursing. This is, this is, I am happy with this. Um, in the sense that the information was something that my daughter could understand, but it wasn't dumbed down to the, to the level of, um, I didn't feel like we were going to get anything out of it. My son was not doing this, um, but from the activities that we were doing and from um, some of the stuff that the girls were writing, he picked up on some of the things. And again, I wish I could have like specific words and timelines and stuff, but they will talk and it is basically they're repeating what they've learned through here. And in my opinion, that means that it, this wasn't a waste of time. They took something away from it. So that's going to be this review or this final review of this curriculum. I've already mentioned that it wasn't sponsored and that, um, yep. Anyway, uh, give this video a thumbs up if you found this helpful. And again, I encourage you to comment down below with any thoughts that you might have. 
and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I forgot about this book. I got these um, from Amazon and I picked up one for each of the girls and this has also been a very valuable resource with um, the science curriculum. And I just, all they're doing is they're coloring and the, uh, the labels, okay? So you have this and you have information about it. And then you have, this one is choose your own colors, but a lot of them, I, this is what my daughter's gonna be doing today, a lot of them actually will tell you, so here's the respiratory system. This is the one that she's, this is the book that she's working on right now. And here you go, you're going to label the trachea blue, the bronchus light blue, the lung gray, and so on and so forth. And so they have to um, find and label the parts of the respiratory system to work with that. And this, again, has just been a really valuable resource. I got this off of Amazon, and I will link it in the description box below.